All right, we're gonna be doing this little day in the life vlog today. Um, getting my coffee in. Getting my fast on, and we got the motherfucking no pish posh hat. So, and jump in the Uber, gonna go meet. Why am I telling you this? It's a vlog, I'm supposed to just do it. Okay, this is getting good. Mike and I are working on the new clothing scripts. <laughs> <Can I walk laughs> <down? laughs> we're getting we're getting the message down. This is the clothing line for people that want to improve themselves in the gym and out of the gym. It's not about being one dimensional. It's about fitting your physique effortlessly. All right, we got something good here. Yeah, yeah I'm, doing a, I'm doing the day in the life vlog today. That's, that's, I, I didn't know that. You just that's why you jumped and surprised me there. And we just started doing the some, octane kicked in. The we're, our octane's kicking in. We're about to hit some 295 incline. Oh damn! We're gonna finish this video. Boom. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna try on this new the Henley T. Yeah. The million dollar question is, what's the sleeve length you want? Yeah, I like I like a shorter sleeve. Show more know. arms. So yeah, that's I why like I brought that. the large. I know you the want body this fits one. well. It's, the body's really yeah. good. So that's the. And this is the shorter hem. We did a shorter hem, right? Yeah, with the loosened body. How's the, how does it look, Mike? Yeah, it looks pretty solid. It's not too. It's got little little, little drape. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Cool. We brought the. Say again. Folded it up an inch. So I think it's going to show the physique more. The arms, the shoulders. Pop the biceps. If you if you pull the sleeve up an inch. Yeah, I think the Henley would be sick. Right here, the T-shirt Henley is sick. Yeah. I like it. I love it. Like people, people could be scuba. So to finish off this video, we need to get some sick footage of Kino Warriors doing something outside of the gym that they're proud of. Something epic. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna send out the message soon. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you're missing out on the on the uh, on the quick engagement. Um, and now it's I'm fasting pretty late now. I've had some octane, some Kino aminos, and about to hit this hit this upper body workout the man all right so this workout is a fun one i'm doing an upper body workout really focusing a little more on the chest and the biceps um so i'm starting her off with barbell incline i haven't done this in a while but i decided to start with 295 because the goal is to get up to 315 for four and if i can do 295 or four then i only need to add 20 pounds which is a lot but because i haven't done this exercise in a while you know, it could happen. So here we go. This is pretty heavy. I'm driving a lot of my legs. My butt is kind of coming up a tiny bit. So I'm going to watch that for my next workout. But this incline was a little bit, a little bit higher than usual. Um, but bam, we got the four reps, which is good. Now we're going to go down to 260, dropping it just over 10%. Now I'm going to try and get some more reps here. So this actually felt really nice. This felt really good. I ended up getting seven reps for my second set of reverse pyramid, which I was really happy with. Um, and I'm going full lockout. I know you guys have been critiquing me about not going all the way up. So I'm showing you that, hey, it's no problem. I can get that last inch. It's easy. It's peasy. <clears throat> and now, final set, going down to 230 and just repping out. And this set actually I was a little fatigued on. And because it's my last set, I'm not fully locking out. Just want to keep that constant tension. It's okay to keep constant tension on uh, on um, your last set of RPT. Um, get the get that nice uh, constant tension. So this is my last set. I was gonna go for ten, but I think I only end up getting nine reps. My chest is just shocked here. Let me tell you, shocked. And now I want to get two sets of flat dumbbell bench. Get a nice stretch. Um, really feel the chest here. So we got a hundreds, which is you know pretty light for me for flat, but because I crushed three sets on heavy incline barbell, um, it's actually still pretty challenging. So I'm going for about 10 to 12 reps here. And if you guys have not, uh, if you guys can't tell yet, I'm wearing the Kino Bamboo Pocket Long Sleeve Shirt, which is it feels like butter. It feels amazing. It's made out of 66% bamboo, some cotton. Um, and some lycra and it is just the most comfortable shirt in the business um, fits like a fits like insane now we're going down to 90s gonna go for another set and probably keep the reps around the same just because the chest is the chest fatigues you know it's it's already feeling dead here so actually I think I only got 10 reps with 90s but man my chest at this point was absolutely pumped to the max 
five sets of chest is really all I need to grow. If I continue doing chest, that's when I find it's harder to hit the personal record the following week. So that is just the perfect amount of activation. And I can already tell in the video my chest is feeling popped. If I was wearing a tank top, be able to tell. So now uh, my elbows have been a little tender. Um, so I'm doing keno rep training on these where basically I just do 10, 12 reps and start light and increase the weight. So starting at 35s, I'm doing hammer. Um, I hurt my elbow a little bit, so doing supinated curls is a bit of a challenge. So I'm doing a little more hammer work these days, build the outer bicep, build the brachialis, and there's, you know, solid set, and right here I'm talking about how pumped I am, how pumped my chest is from incline and flat dumbbell, just nutty, it's just nuts, so we're going down, we're going up in weight, sorry, going to 40s, going to go for 10 smooth reps, really contract the bicep, I can't go too, too heavy on my biceps these days, so I'm really focusing on just activating the bicep and getting a lot of reps in. So this is something you can try. Start light, build the weight up, and it's good for more so assistance or accessory lifts to get a lot of volume in. So 40s were no problem. Now we're going to go up to our last set, or sorry, our heaviest set. We're going to do four sets here. We're going to go 45 and then finish off with 40 again. So this felt a little heavy, uh, but it felt good. Because we pre-fatigued our biceps, it's feeling really good. Um, get in again, we're getting that outer bicep going, and um, the last set of biceps, I go down to 40s, I don't show that, but you get the point, just want to get some serious, serious work in, and now we got Mikey starting her off with some cable curls, really get that peak contraction, um, this actually felt pretty good for me, so it didn't hurt my bicep, which I was really happy about, so I'm just doing two sets here, two sets of 10 to 12, really squeezing, um, and you know what? Thankfully, my elbow did not hurt today. Um, I actually injured my elbow doing some really heavy uh, seated barbell curls. Seated barbell curls is a great movement, but I think it just tweaked my elbow. I got sensitive elbows, um, unfortunately. And now we're going to do two sets of rope push downs. I am cutting, so I don't want to do more than two sets. You know, three, we did three heavy lifts, incline bench, flat dumbbell, hammer curls. Now we're just doing two sets of, you know, some extra curls, extra triceps, and of course, we're going to finish off with something that's going to get my shoulders blown up. So we're finishing off with face pulls. And I'm doing like 20 reps on my activation set, which is a hell of a lot. Um, and I used a pretty decent weight, you know. Um, pretty decent weight. So I'm really feeling the shoulders. On this rest, you got to try this. Pick a weight you can do for 15 to 20 reps. Rep out, rest 10 seconds, and then do three sets of six to eight. So my shoulders here, I'm just going to tell you, man, they are... They are feeling. They were feeling pumped for hours after this. So there's your 20 reps, resting just about 10 seconds. I don't time it perfectly. I just kind of go by feel, and we're gonna get six reps in here. It's feeling great. Boom! You can just see. You can just feel the the uh, amount of muscle activation that we're experiencing here. And we're gonna go for set number two. Act or, or bonus set number two, three. There we go. So I do one activation set plus three mini sets. And that's that gets the job done. So we got, boom, we got one more mini set to fire up those shoulders. And trust me when I tell you, this is, it, when, once I started doing rest pause uh, work on laterals and, and face pulls a few years ago, that's when my shoulders started to, that's when people commented on my shoulders. Everything changed. Um, when I started doing it, I started doing it a few years ago. I just figured it out and man, it fucking works. We're breaking the fast with triple steak, chipotle, and guac. Let's go. Mikey's got his double steak bowl. I got the triple. Let's go. Breaking the fast. This is actually one of the best chipotle bowls I've ever had. Super fresh. It's insane. So we're, it's about 12, 1300 calories, breaking the fast. I'll still have another thousand calories to play around with on the Kino cut and you get shredded for summer. Shredded off of this. Shredded off of the triples, triple steaks. The mission continues. I'd say you're doing pretty well. Jeez. So. This is 
the most focused I've seen Greg all day other than when he's going for a PR set. Oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, so we're downtown at my crib and uh, I'm only still at like 12 to 1400 calories. I have a thousand more calories I'm gonna eat today. And uh, we're gonna have to figure out what's gonna hit the spot. It's nine o'clock, it's 9 p.m. So I'm gonna try and finish eating the next few hours. Um, so definitely 500 calories of the thousand is gonna be dedicated to these bounty bars, which I've been eating. This is a wrapper from a couple days ago. I'm not the most clean person, apparently. Um, I've been eating these, which is, this is my dessert, 270, so 540 calories for two of those. So we're gonna be doing those, so I'll have four or 500 calories beyond that. So maybe some fruit, maybe I'll cook up a few eggs. Oh, and this is my little infrared device, good for muscle relaxation. It's supposed to be good for the skin, good for the mood, so. We're gonna fire up the PS4, play a few rounds of games, and infrared it up. No pish posh. And this apple is gonna put us at 1,300 calories. About 100 calories for an apple. It's red delicious, very tasty. Okay, I'm gonna have these mangoes, it'll be at 1,500, and then I'll have another 800 to work with. Mmm. So in my last video, I was talking about how sometimes there's an adaptation period where you're really hungry, you might have to go a few hundred calories over just to get your body adjusted. And I've only had 1,500 calories, a Chipotle bowl, an apple, and some mango, and I'm actually feeling like not hungry at all. Like, I'm gonna need to eat something before I go to bed, obviously, but like, I'm like, mm, I feel pretty satisfied. And now we're eating the two bounty bars, which will put me at about 2,040 calories. I'm gonna do this first, and I, you know what? If I'm feeling good, I might just stay a little lower today. Just, um, just cause, the appetite's down. I took some aminos today, so the aminos will help if my protein's a little bit lower. So I might do that, or I might make a few eggs later, or bone broth, we'll see. I'm gonna keep it posted. And it's okay to go a little lower here and there, just um, get some extra momentum, um, as long as you are feeling good. All right, it's getting really late. We're wrapping the day up. I've just been on the last couple hours. I started a new Instagram account for the Kino Clothing. Um, and it's already up to like 300 followers, which is amazing. If you guys want to check it out, it's Kino underscore clothing. Um, and this boxer hoodie that people have been going crazy for and the Kino Henleys that are made out of bamboo are coming back in stock literally any day now. So I'm going to be posting about when that comes out um, on the Kino clothing page. And literally we keep selling out um, within the first couple hours. So the demand has been nuts. We're just working on getting our manufacturing up. And since I'm only at like 2,000 calories, I'm gonna finish off a little bone broth. Um, this is my buddy Chris's brand from Umzu Truth Nutra. And it's like 80 calories, but it's got 20 grams of protein. It's good, it's good stuff. So this will perfect my low, low calorie day. This is a lower calorie day than usual, but you know what? When you can ride the wave, you ride the wave. All right. You know what one of my favorite Greg type of guy comments was? Greg, the type of guy to go to an all right conference. Wait, what was, no. Greg, the type of guy to attend an alt right conference to get an all right conference. That's funny. You guys are funny. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was super boring. I know there wasn't anything eventful going on, but just wanted to give you a little inside peek at my cutting and what I'm eating and my new e eating kind of style. Um, as far as fucking bounty bars and, and stuff like that. So hopefully you enjoyed it a lot. If you want more of this, hit the fucking like button. Why have you not hit the like button yet? Thank you. Thank you. You rock. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, and uh, actually, full disclosure, full disclosure, I ended up eating a tiny bit more. I was like, I was feeling a little bit empty. I had a, that was a big work that I did. So I ended up eating like three pieces of, to of gluten-free toast with butter, which was like, probably put me at 400 calories. So that puts me up to 2,500. So I actually didn't end up going that low. I just, you know, I wasn't that tired last that, you know, last night and I'm going a little higher, but that's fine. You know, on a, on a lift day, I shouldn't be going really anything below 2,300. So 
Um, that's what I did. You know, as you can see, you know, at my level, my advanced stage, a lot of what I do, especially when you're low, low body fat, is I listen to my body. I really listen to body. Go, go by feel. So um, when you follow my programs, follow them exactly as they are. Um, but when you've been, you know, dialing things in for years and years and years and you're staying below 10%, it's, it's probably the best strategy just to kind of really listen to your body too as you're cutting. Uh, but that takes time. So takes time. And that's why my warrior shredding program every, you know, after every eight weeks, we're doing like a muscle up phase where we increase the calories and we're doing our refeed days. So, so yeah, anyways, peace. Oh yeah. And the Kino clothing Instagram account, it's up to almost, it's like 2000 followers now. It's crazy. And the engagement's insane. So make sure to follow Kino underscore clothing. We're launching some new piece of clothing in the next few days, including the Kino Henleys, the boxer hoodie. And I'm going to be posting about it first on the Kino clothing page. So, bam.